Welcome back to today's video guys. Today's workout is going to be a lower body workout and we're going to use just a long loop band, a kettlebell, one single dumbbell, or a weighted pack pack, one of those, whatever you have on hand. And yeah, let's hop into the workout. So today we're going to start off with our warm up as always, three rounds of this. We're going to start with a banded good morning. So you're going to walk your feet onto one strand of the band. Other side is gonna come across your rear delts. You're gonna focus on hinging at the hips, sending your glutes back, keeping a little bend in your knees, coming about parallel to the floor, feeling the stretch through your back, through the hamstrings, and then squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward into standing. You're gonna go here for 10 really intentional reps. Then we're going to come into Gorilla Burpees. So you're going to drop your band, you're going to take your feet into a squat position, hip distance apart or wider, whatever is most comfortable for you. You're going to squat down nice and low, grab towards your toes, roll your shoulders back, and then you're going to plant your hands in front of you, hop the feet out into a plank, hop them back in, and then sit tall, grab your toes, sit a little deeper into your hips. Alternating back and forth for 10 total reps. Last but not least, we're gonna come into lateral walks with the long loop band this time. So you're gonna take your feet hip distance apart on the band. You're gonna crisscross it into an X. Hold the band nice and high, elbows by your sides. You're gonna take 10 big steps to the side, and then 10 big steps to the other side. Should be feeling this through the hips, through the glute knee, right here. Three rounds of that, and then we'll hop into superset number one. All right, so superset number one, we're gonna start off with banded goblet squats. So depending on what equipment you have, you're gonna tie the band either through a loop in your backpack, your loop in your kettlebell, or around one of the handles of your dumbbell. However you need to make it work. Once you have this loop, you're gonna take one of the bands under your each foot, like so, and then come into your goblet squat position with your band. So this will look like your kettlebell upside down or your dumbbell vertically. So you're gonna come now, nice and low, squat up, resist the band. You're gonna go 10 to 15 of these, Working on control, working, working on squeezing your glutes, squeezing your quads as resistance builds towards the top of each rep. Then we're going to go into banded kettlebell swings. So holding on to the top of your kettlebell this time, your band will be laced through it so that it's on the bottom edge of your kettlebell or on your dumbbell or weighted pack. You're going to come into some hinge to squeeze. Big one to focus on with this guy, as it can get a little erratic with the bag apparently, is that we're focusing on using your hips to moment it forward so that we can stay stable in our body. So from the side, looks like this. Try to get that bag or kettlebell up to shoulder height. 20 of those total, one minute rest and then hop into it four rounds total. Superset number two, we're gonna attach your band to a pole, maybe you have some reeling or maybe even a doorknob, and you're gonna walk yourself through so that the band comes up on your hips. You're gonna be in this position for both exercises. First exercise is going to be kettlebell deadlift. I'm gonna use my impact because I do not have kettlebells. And all you're gonna do is hinge at the hips, allow the band to take your hips back, and then squeeze your glutes as you stand nice and tall in that position. Focusing on maintaining a neutral spine, keeping those shoulders rolled down and away from your ears the whole time. You're gonna go here, 10 to 15 reps. Then you're gonna switch up into a kettlebell stance. Same thing, hinging at the hips and it back, squeeze the glutes. You really have to squeeze the glutes here to maintain 
a position in which you're stable. If we don't squeeze the glutes, you're more prone to falling backwards, and we don't want that. 10 or 20 reps of those, four rounds, one minute rest. All right, so our last circuit is gonna be five rounds total, three movements. We're gonna start off with offset lunges. So offset lunges, you're gonna place your kettlebell to one side. You're gonna lunge forward, making sure that the front knee is stacked over that front ankle. Lunge other leg. You're gonna go 10 times lunging, not changing your hand position, going leg to leg, alternating between the two. Then once you're done 10 lunges, you'll go 10 on the other side. So 20 total. Then you're gonna grab your kettlebell or bag, whatever you have on hand, come into a Cossack position. So feet are gonna be nice and wide, toes facing out at a 45 degree angle. You're gonna take your knee, tie it over that toe, stand nice and tall, go to the other side. You're gonna go 20 total, wrap side to side, going as low as you can go, keeping that hip position as open as possible. Then you're gonna end up with 10 windmills per side. So you're gonna take your kettlebell or dumbbell overhead or weighted backpack, take your feet wider than hips distance apart, looking up towards your hand. This free hand's gonna slither down the side of your body going as low as you can go. And then using your core, stand nice and tall. Nice controlled, all the way up. You're gonna go 10 per side, taking as little rest as possible for a total of five rounds. Have fun with this, guys. See you later.